United Way of the Greater Lehigh Valley is committed to education and knows the importance of early intervention. Early childhood education is important because we're laying down the foundation for children to have a, a good school experience. Children start to learn at birth, and most people don't believe that. They think that, you know, the common theory was that kids went to school and that's when they started to learn. But that's not true. They start at birth, and the greatest brain development happens in the first three years. By the time they get to school, they're already formed in many ways. There is absolutely a huge difference between children who have had uh, preschool education versus those that do not. We do know that everyone learns at different rates, but it is significantly apparent when a child comes into kindergarten those who know their letters, who know how to spell their name, write their name, and some even read in versus those that do not. Children need to be with other children. They need to be getting the pre-reading skills, the pre-math skills, the pre-science skills. And high quality childcare provides that kind of experience for children from birth on. So the investment in childcare makes a huge difference to children being ready to start school but also children graduating from high school, children being able to get good jobs and succeed in life. Programs like this prepare children for kindergarten because they're learning how to regulate their own behaviors, they're learning about other people's behaviors, and they're building foundations for relationships, um, learning how to interact. We have really appreciated all that the United Way has done for child care information services. We saw that many of the children in unconditional child care didn't have basic social skills. So one of my staff developed a program to teach teachers how to teach children social skills. The United Way fully funds that program. A good education builds on top of itself. So if a child's in a center from the time even that they're an infant, they're gonna enter school ready to learn. They're gonna continue on that trajectory if they're in a good school. And they're gonna be reading on grade level at the end of third grade, which is our big goal. And it's continuous growth. And I think it all starts with that building block of early childhood. Our goal in United Way is to make sure that all children are ready for school. And we want to take care of the ones who don't have the ability to do that on their own and raise them up to be able to work with their peers, to be at the same level, and to go on and to live happy, healthy lives. It's a wonderful feeling, and it's very exciting to see the boys and girls coming to school, wanting to learn, ready to learn. And I just feel like, you know, boys and girls nowadays can learn so much more than we believe they could have. And so um, we can just take them where they are and, and move them forward. It's an amazing feeling to know that I am having having an impact on a family. It can start from one, one small seed and then you grow this beautiful tree and then those, that tree will produce other fruit. Joining us in the studio is Jane Irvin, CEO of Community Services for Children. Jane, thanks so much for being here. Thank you, Ashley, good to be here. Tell me a little bit about the benefits of early childhood education. When children are young, their brains are developing at a, a rapid rate. Um, in fact, brains develop more rapidly between the ages of birth and five years old than at any other time in a person's life. And so the experiences that children have during this time of rapid brain growth are critical to the way the child's brain is going to evolve and be part of their lives forever, basically. So you want to make sure that children are getting high quality early learning experiences so that they develop language appropriately, so that they develop critical thinking skills, so they get socialized, so they can get along with people, um, so that they can communicate well. And all these skills occur in the first five years of life. It's amazing how much kids are absorbing and observing those early years. What are some of the obstacles that you find in getting quality early childhood education? Because there is a differentiation. The obvious problem is funding. Um, uh, it is expensive. It's not an inexpensive proposition to make sure that kids are getting high quality early learning. Um, teachers um, have to be well trained 
and well-educated to do a great job. We all know that. That's true in all levels of education and no less true in early education. But additionally, the other part of the challenge is that in some cultures, there's a feeling that a child is much better off if they stay home with grandma, if parents are working, for example. Um, what they don't realize that it is unless grandma or grandpa, or whoever the caregiver is, is really skilled at focusing on the development of that child and encouraging that growth, then that child could be set back and they would be better off in a setting where there are skilled educators. Due to so many studies that have come out in recent years about the importance of early childhood education, United Way of the Greater Lehigh Valley has made a commitment in their funding. But they've made more than just a funding commitment to early education. They've made a commitment to collaboration. Tell me a little bit more about that, Jane. United Way has been a truly wonderful partner uh, in the early education field. We work with them in the Allentown Promise neighborhood, um, developing a home visiting program where we have a, a skilled interviewer who talks to parents in their homes, parents whose children don't necessarily have the opportunity to go to high quality early learning facilities. So not just going to a classroom, but also right. working with the parents in the home. That's a whole other side of this. Mm -hmm. It is indeed. Um, uh, United Way has also been very supportive of uh, kids attending Head Start classrooms. So they're helping to fund uh, children coming into Head Start classrooms. And Head Start are programs for very low income children between three and four years old um, at high quality classrooms before they enter kindergarten. There are states, especially California is one, that measures determines the number of prison cell spaces they're going to need based on third grade reading scores of the children in their communities. Because they recognize that if a kid isn't reading well by third grade, the chances there that are less, much less, that they're gonna graduate from high school and be successful. So by making these investments early in a child's life, United Way recognizes that that's a, a, an investment that has a tremendous return on the, on the dollars invested because these kids will not need remediation. They will not need as much special education. They will not necessarily be involved in the criminal justice system or um, need other kind of uh, community supports as they get older because they have that great early learning experience. United Way recognizes that that's the best way to invest community dollars to make sure that they have a great return on that investment. And I think it's so interesting, Jane, to see that the work that you do at Community Services for Children, as well as United Way, also looks to support the entire family. So it's not just what happens in the classroom, but what happens beyond, and reading to children at home, and using everyday experiences as a learning opportunity. So thank you so much for being with us today. I appreciate My it. My pleasure. For more information on early learning initiatives through the United Way of the Greater Lehigh Valley, go to our website at thepeaktv.com. And coming up next, we'll take a look at a doctor who's getting back to nature. Stay tuned, this is The Peak. The Peak TV is a production of ASR Media.